Hey, Torah Seekers. I already shuffled uh, a lot and focused on your love life for the month of September. Now I'm just going to finalize this shuffle. Love reading for Taurus and their person of interest for the month of September, please. Perfect. Okay. Hi. <laughs> So this will be a reading and for you and for the person on your mind. It needs to be a real person, meaning, of course, they're a real person, but that is, um, is or has been truly in your life, okay? Um, the only way that they haven't been truly in your life is if it's the person that will come in to your life during September. What it doesn't include is um, someone that you know through a screen, a celebrity you've never met, um, etc. Why? Because I don't encourage my viewers to stay stuck. I want you to be happy and prosperous. For that sake, you need to be aware uh, so that you can break out of anything that prevents you from being happy, right? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the reason. Um, with that said, I am not about just taking the absolute positive from the cards and completely ignoring the the full picture that they're bringing. Um, I'm not into half truths because half a truth is a lie. So I'm going to tell you what I see from the cards. Maybe it will be great and romantic and fantastic, and maybe it will be disappointing and uncomfortable and an opportunity to expand and to improve. Either way, it will be for you. I will not waste your time taking advantage of your heart, telling you things that I don't see, or that I half see, but other things that are also on the table kind of cancel them out or bring other contexts, etc., etc. But I ignore them because I want you to stick around. I don't do that shit, okay? Which means that those of you who are spiritually mature will like to hang out here. And those of you who are not will probably get annoyed, upset, and not want to stick around here. Either way, it's okay. This is you. This is your person of interest. However, if this sounds like you and this sounds like them, you may reverse the roles. We will have a love sequel for this, uh, like extended, where I will dive deeper and further into the situation, the narrative, and how things unfold in September. So if you resonate with this, if this speaks to you, um, you will find the, ex the love sequel slash extended um, below, the links below. It's on Patreon. You can either have it as a monthly membership, and then you have all the signs or several of the signs, depending on the tier you choose for unlimited streaming, or you can purchase just one reading, let's say this one, separately. For those of you who are in countries like India or places where they don't, you, you don't, you can't technically join Patreon, I have added those readings um, on Vimeo, so link to that is also below. Okay, <laughs> in your mind, Four of Cups toward this person. In their mind, Seven of Cups. Okay, Taurus. Hmm. Let me tap into this for one moment. Right off the bat, already a lot of cups. There is synchronicity here. There is alignment. You know, the colors, the element. Um, it's like you're together but apart. Maybe you're on each other's mind, but you don't communicate to each other. Maybe they're trying to pinpoint you in their head to understand what are you, who are you to them. I'm thinking of a level of confusion as to your, um, like they're, 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 I th they do think about you, absolutely. But it's like, it seems to be like foggy, under a fog of um, mystery and confusion, perhaps. And maybe they have so many things on their mind, and every now and then you just 
pop in their mind, in their thought, out of, sneak into a thought out of nowhere. And they're like, oh, how did you get into my mind, Taurus? I'm now doing this or I'm now doing that. Like suddenly they'll have a memory of you or um, something like that. And you, maybe you don't even think that that is even the case. Maybe you don't believe that they care about you or you have uh, doubts about what you mean to them. In your heart, Eight of Pentacles. In your person's heart, Two of Wands. Okay. So your hearts are looking at each other. There is a strong connection here. Um, this person feels like they want to explore more of how this connection can feel and... and um, and affect and influence them. You feel like this is something that requires um, a showcase of loyalty, like your heart needs proof. And your heart wants actions. You know, it's like, if you get acts of service, you translate it as love. If you feel like you need that from them. You need to like see what it is that they do for you. So far it feels pretty amorphic, but let's continue. What you give is the four of pentacles. What they give is the three of pentacles. You feel like you stand on page of wands. They feel like they stand on ace of wands. Wow. Hmm. They have one, two, three, you have four, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, four, and seven, eight, and a lot of wands. Okay, let me look. You feel each other instinctually, emotionally, um, mentally or energetic, no, energetically. Like when you think about the other person, when you guys think about each other, it's, it's um, sentient thinking. It's intuitive thinking. Don't have any swords here. There's no um, reason here or, or sensibility. And I'm not saying in a bad way. It's like, I think maybe you guys are maybe not communicating or not in touch or not necessarily because I think if not at this moment we'll we'll see what the cards say but it's possible that this person is wanting to start building something with you and i feel like you have a very hard time believing that you think They'll just be something temporary, that you're just an adventure to them, that they'll wake up and realize that they're bored or that they're not interested or that they'll, they're just words, but not, it's just for now, but it won't be consistent. Maybe you've been really disappointed in the past with things that started out really good and there were promises and there was potential, but it ended up, I don't know, fading out or not happening or just empty promises. And it's like, you you feel you're very protective um, and untrusting and you're absolutely certain that whatever it is that they do well or show, it's probably not what you want it to be. It's probably not as great as it looks. But these cards are genuine. And I think because of everything I just said coming from you, they're possibly confused. Recent past between you, the high priestess, okay, and present, the magician, okay, you know, hello, <laughs> wow, let me take a moment. So the magician and the high priestess are natural counterparts, but in a very high frequency manner, in a very spiritual manner. 
think uh, Merlin and Morgane Le Fay and Lady of the Lake, right? Think um, like a very matching pair in a very um, magical, like spiritual, energetic way. Both characters, both of you are very intense people, very intuitive, very powerful, very wise, very capable, really understand the ebb and flow of energy versus matter and how to work with that dissonance in our life and how to bring these polarities together to create something out of nothing. You guys understand each other in ways that others don't understand you. You have this language. You have this um, unspoken language. Like you can sit next to each other and just and have a conversation without having a conversation, or with a very few words, and somehow it will just kind of click in to your system and you'll know exactly what it is that they said and, and they know exactly what it is that you said, quote, cool, you know. Um, there is a cir circling around one another, like there is a dance here. I don't think that is a complete no contact situation, but I also think that it's not exactly contact, like, uh, Okay. In the sequel, I'm going to show these cards. I'm going to clarify to get more detail and information about the dynamic. And of course, clarify these to get more information about how things unfold. This is the future and potential for the month of September. Links are below. Uh, if I see you there, awesome. If I don't see you there, also awesome. Either way, stay magic, stay true, and I love you.